Hello, I'm John Ansell and I've been a member of the Franciscan Third Order for a while now. The Third Order, as you may know, uh, was founded by Francis of Assisi back in the 13th century to complement the other religious orders and to provide a new way of living for householders. There's been a bit of a revival in recent times and nowadays we are a worldwide community of ordinary Christians, women and men, single and partnered, lay and ordained, all inspired by the example of Francis, Clare and those early Franciscans who transformed the church of their day through a radical approach to material possessions, a deep concern for the integrity of creation and a commitment to peace and unity in Christ. Francis himself was, of course, inspired by Jesus, and it is sometimes said that no one has lived more closely to the spirit of Jesus than he. He was born into the rising middle class, the merchant class, in Assisi, one of the many city-states in northern Italy in the medieval period. As a young man, he hankered after a life of chivalry, which was to be funded, he decided, by his father's cloth business. He was generous, carefree and popular. But after a revelation from God, he extended his generosity to the local church and started rebuilding it. Unaware at the time that God's call to rebuild the church had wider implications for him. In typical fashion, his newfound zeal for Christ led to a falling out with his father, and as a result, Francis joyfully espoused a life of poverty. Now, you may have no desire to sell all you have or to fall out with your family. In these respects, I am not inviting you to follow in the way of Francis. But Maybe you have sometimes felt the need to revisit the foundations of your faith and to do a bit of reconstruction. Perhaps you sense that there's more to the church than meets the eye and more to God that can be encapsulated in the creed. If so, I invite you to a conversation with St Francis. Together, we can share a broader view of the possibilities of faithful living by adopting a Franciscan lifestyle, some of us are discovering a spiritual way that could have profound implications for the 21st century. But what can a poor little man from Assisi 800 years ago teach us about living here today? Well, that's where the conversation in our title comes in. We're only really going to engage with the implications of ancient stories from the life of Francis if we discover the ways they resonate with the stories of our own times. So as well as listening to what happened to Francis, we'll listen to one another's stories. We'll see how they relate to each other and how they might inform some basic principles for living in these days. By engaging in a conversation with St Francis, you're not being asked to sign up to anything. Just come and enjoy a time of storytelling. If you want to hear more about the Society of St Francis and the Third Order, there'll be opportunities to inquire at a later date. But for now, I invite you to join us on the 18th of November and read on for the sign-up details. Let's take the opportunity to hear a little more about an extraordinary person and see where that takes us. Thanks for listening and I hope to see you on the 18th.